These are the top stories of the week. There's flowing water on Mars. Google introduces new gadgets, a new way to make you feel worse about yourself, and what flew under the radar. This week, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has confirmed that lines on the surface of the planet are evidence of liquid water. That doesn't mean Mars has microscopic life living in those waters. An expert says that the water flow may just be too intermittent to support anything. This also raises questions as to where is this water coming from considering it isn't always flowing. Now back here on Earth, Google introduced new gadgets. First up, the leaks were true. There are two new Google Nexus phones, the 5X by LG and the 6P by Huawei. Let's start with the most impressive spec, the price. The 5X starts at $349 and the 6P starts at $499. Both include a fingerprint sensor, can record 4K video, and sport the reversible USB Type-C connector for charging and data. Google wasn't done at just phones, it also revised its media streamer, the Chromecast. The new $35 Google Chromecast is now a disc shape with an attached HDMI connector. Also introduced was the $35 Chromecast Audio, which shares a similar design. Attach this puck to a pair of speakers, and you can send audio from your phone over to it. Google also revises Chromecast app for both iOS and Android, so it's easier to find content to cast to the devices. Speaking of apps, there's a new app that's not even out yet, and it's making a lot of people angry. It's called the People app. It's made news because it's best understood as a Yelp for people. That's right, an app that lets you rate other human beings. People uses Facebook for a login, and reviews cannot be anonymous. Oh yeah, you can't opt out of this system. The app is scheduled for release in November. It's time to go rapid fire. These are more stories you should know about. Apple released a new version of Mac OS X. Edward Snowden joined Twitter. LG introduced a dual screen phone called the LG V10. And Amazon will no longer sell the Chromecast or Apple TV in late October. Now it's time to see what flew under the radar. Very quietly, Microsoft and Google have settled all patent lawsuits this week. By the way, there were about 20 patent lawsuits between the two of them. The two were at war over patents related to Android and Xbox, amongst other things. Now, why is this important? You've got Google and Microsoft continuing to build a working relationship. Could part of the deal include Google supporting Microsoft's mobile efforts? Could Android work better with Microsoft services? We'll see. Terms of the deal weren't disclosed. For more information on everything we talked about and more, go to CNET.com. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, signing off.